Hey friends, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a fake Snickers bar. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make my little peanuts and we're gonna use polymer clay for that. I'm gonna use this tan by Sculpey and then a little bit of yellow and some white. So I'm not gonna to add too much yellow, just a little pinch, just to kind of change the tone a little bit. You just want to make sure when you mix these colors in that you get it worked in really well to where you don't have any streaky or swirly looking spots. And then I'm also going to add just a pinch of white to, to lighten this up just a little bit. Okay. I think that'll be a pretty good color. So what I'm gonna do here is just take off some little pieces and roll them into a ball. We actually want it to be more like an oval kind of shape a little bit, not completely round. So that's a whole peanut. So what I'm gonna do with this is just cut it in half. And then just shape it up a little bit again it might get smushed from the blade and then i'm going to take a toothpick and i'm just going to make that little line in the center so the line kind of just goes from the center to the edge it doesn't go all the way down most likely you may not even notice these little details once it's mixed into the candy bar but just to be on the safe side so this should be more than enough peanuts to make one snickers bar so i've put these on parchment paper and i'm just going to put them in my oven and bake them quarter according to my package directions so to make the candy bar, I'm going to use my Crayola air dry clay. And the reason I'm using this type of clay is because it holds the shape a lot better. I tried originally doing this with foam clay and it just didn't turn out looking realistic at all. So condition your clay and then I'm going to roll this out into a log. And we're going to want all the sides to be flat. So just kind of flip it over and press it against your surface until you have all four sides nice and flat. You may have to do it a couple of times to get all the sides how you want them. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the ends because we want those to be squared off too. And then if you have any cracks like this, creases in the clay, just use your finger and smooth it out. And then on the top, they make it look like, um, like they dipped it and then picked it up and it kind of like made a peak of chocolate on the top. So I'm just gonna take a small piece of my clay and kind of make a random shape so I'm just going to roll it out so part of it's thin and then keep part of it a little bit thicker and just put that like toward the center and then I'll do a couple more smaller pieces And then I'm just going to take one of my larger dotting pens and I'm just going to kind of blend these into the rest of the candy bar. So you don't see those creases where the two pieces meet. And you can also use your dotting tool to 
kind of shape this up how you want it a little more. And you can do that with your fingers as well. Okay, so for the inside, I want to I want to take out a piece right at the top where the caramel and the peanuts will go. So I'm going to kind of like draw out the space that I want to take out. So I'm just using a popsicle stick to just take off kind of the top little bit there. And then just make sure you have a thin layer of chocolate right around the edge. You don't want it to be too thick. And then at the bottom, we need to make the nougat part. So again, I'm going to trace a line just so I know how far to go. I want to leave that little layer of chocolate right around the edge. And then I'm just going to take a toothpick and I'm going to kind of texture this up. So I'll do that with both halves and I need to then let this dry until it gets hard because that'll just make it much easier to paint and um, fill with the caramel and the peanuts. So I'll probably let this dry. Um, I'll check it tomorrow, but it might take more than one day, maybe two days to get hard enough to work with. Okay, so I've let these dry, and um, this was just one day. They don't feel like they're completely dry, but they're hard enough that I won't worry about messing it up. I'm going to mix up my colors to paint this with. So I'm going to use melted chocolate for the chocolate color. And then to that, I'm going to add some gloss Mod Podge because I want to make it look like real chocolate, and it needs a little bit of a glossy look. And then for the nougat color, I'm going to use some antique white. And I'm not going to need too much of this, so just a few drops. And then I'm going to add a little bit of classic caramel, probably just one drop. So I did three drops of the antique white. I'm going to add one drop of classic caramel. And then I'm going to add some Mod Podge to this, but probably not as much. I want this to be a little bit glossy, but not glossy like the chocolate is. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my brush like that and just mix that in. The nougat's not really glossy, but with this paint, it's so matte that I don't think that's correct either. So this will just kind of give it a little bit of gloss so it looks realistic, but not make it really glossy. So I'm gonna start out by just painting the nougat part since I'll need to hold onto the candy bar that'll make it easier to just do that part first and then the other part I'm going to do first is I'm going to take a small brush and go around this little edge here and you'll probably have to do a couple of coats of this brown to get it to completely cover and then I'll just paint the rest of the candy bar. So I'm going to let this first coat dry and then I'll do a second coat of the chocolate color and then let that dry and then we'll come back and put the caramel and the peanuts in. Okay, so all my paint has dried up so now I need to make the peanut and caramel filling for the top part. So I have my little peanuts that I baked. So now I'm just going to cut these into different pieces like quarters probably or even halves would work. I'm just going to put those aside for a second and I'm going to make up my caramel. So for that, I'm going to use my 100% silicone and this is clear. So I'm just going to put a little bit into a cup 
paper cup. And I'm not going to need too much because that opening is not that big. So don't use, too, don't make too much to where you're going to waste it. And then I'm going to use yellow. So I'm going to put a few drops of that in. I think I did about five drops there. I'm going to do one drop of orange and one drop of brown. And then I want to give it a little bit of a cloudy look. I still want it to be see-through, but I want it to have a little bit of cloudiness. So I'm going to use my white alcohol ink for that. So I'm just going to add a few drops here and then I can always add more if I need to. And then just mix that all up. I'm happy with the color. I just want to give it a tiny bit more cloudiness, not too much. It's, it's pretty good, but just a little more. If you don't have white alcohol ink, you can use paint for this, but you would want to use like not even one drop of paint. You would use like put a tiny bit on the end of a toothpick. Otherwise it's going to get too solid. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put this right inside of this little opening that I made. And then I'm gonna take some of my little peanut pieces and just kind of put them in there randomly. And then I'll take a toothpick and I'm just going to press them down in there more. I don't want them like sticking out and I want them to look like they're mixed in with the caramel. So just kind of give it a more realistic look. And then we'll just want to give the silicone some time to dry. It's not super fast to dry a lot of times. So just um, check on it and see. I mean... It might take a couple days, a few days for it to dry completely. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the tutorial and I will see you next time.